addition to bringing back the jobs that have been lost this year, my plan will help create at least five million, five million new good paying jobs. We created six million new jobs, more jobs in one year than any time before. My infrastructure plan is going to revitalize American infrastructure so the future is made in America. Together with the infrastructure bill, millions of lives will be changed for the better. Now let me sign this bipartisan bill. And in today's briefing, we discussed five things to help us meet our goal of 100 million shots by the end of our first 100 days in office. Today, we did it. Today, we hit 200 million shots. I'm looking forward to making sure there's a black woman on the Supreme Court to make sure we, in fact, get my nominee for the United States Supreme Court is Judge Ketanji Jackson. It has taken 232 years and 115 prior appointments for a black woman to be selected to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. If I have the honor of being president, I will end the Muslim ban on day one. One of President Biden's first moves was to repeal former President Trump's Muslim travel ban. If I'm elected president, my cabinet, my administration will look like the country. And I commit that I will, in fact, pick a woman to be vice president. I have no doubt that I picked the right person to join me as the next vice president of the United States of America, and that's Senator Kamala Harris. That's why we're going to achieve a carbon pollution-free electric sector by the year 2035. I'm now going to sign the executive order to meet the climate crisis with American jobs and American ingenuity. And the first thing I will do, I will rejoin the Paris Accord. I will join the Paris Accord because with us out of it, look what's happening. It's all falling apart. I'm going to sign the commitment I made that we're going to rejoin the Paris Climate Accord. The Trump administration has attacked the rights of transgender people banning them from military service. How will you, as president, reverse this dangerous and discriminatory agenda and ensure that the lives and rights of LGBTQ people are protected under US law? I will flat out just change the law. Every, eliminate those executive orders, number one. President Biden has signed an executive order repealing the Trump administration's ban on transgender people serving in the U.S. military. We should be bailing them out now, those small businesses. They need the help. In the last month, we've increased the share of funding for small businesses with fewer than 10 employees by nearly 60 percent. 